online one of the dating sites. She had me come over for 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 supper, and ever since then it was uh, uh, it was perfect from day from that day on. She told me right away that she had cancer, and it's part of life, and and I didn't want that to ruin what she had and I seen the true beauty from the inside out instead of the cancer. April 15th was our, our, our first date and, and from there uh, it grew closer and closer and even that night when I met her um, she was just glowing from, from head to toe and her eyes were just sparkling. Once I started getting to know her she was the most amazing person ever. She had uh, tumors on her brain. She had cancer on her back, and it was on her uh, spinal fluid too. We found out she only had six, six months to live. My mom helped me get an engagement ring, and I proposed that Friday when I came back. Finally said, will you marry me? And, and she, was, I, she was the happiest ever. A lot of people showed up that night, and, that she looked amazing. It was a good wedding day. After that, it just went downhill after we got married. Denise was a patient on our floor on the OSHU, and during our nurse leadership rounding, I had got to meet them and visited them every day and, you know, became, had a pretty good relationship with them and found out that they were newlyweds. They had been married December 3rd. My lead brings her husband, Matt, into my office and I said, you know, you could tell he had been crying, and I said, what's going on? And he told me that Denise had been put in the hospital. She had pneumonia. She was a patient down on 5 West, and um, that they had quit all treatment, and she was going home on hospice. And that today was their one-month anniversary, and he had been trying to find a quiet place where he could tell her how much he loved her and that it was okay for her to die, that he was gonna be okay after she was gone. And so I called Jamie Rosales in nutrition, told him what was going on. We knew that the patient didn't have a, a long to, to live and they wanted to have some type of special dinner that the couple could remember. We wanted to make that meal special because obviously the conditions were that it could be one of their last meals together. So we wanted just to make that a, a great experience for them. I kind of pass it along to Jason and, and Allison, which are our experts in the, the culinary part of our, our uh, food service department. Jamie contacted me and said, hey, what do we have uh, in-house for, do we have any nice cuts of steak or, or anything that, you know, that we can make a, a special meal for. And she likes steak. Her mother said she liked mashed potatoes with brown gravy, um, anything chocolate for dessert, and her drinks were iced tea and chocolate milk. We got the chancellor's private dining room set up, and I had someone as an attendant to, to serve the meal, and we had cooks for, for cooking the fillets, and I actually had one of my cooks come in and, and open up a bottle of champagne. We let the kitchen handle the uh, menu preparation part of it, but uh, within catering, we set the room and set the stage for them to make it um, the best meal they could have. We had place cards for them so they knew, you know, we were inviting them in and this was, you know, specifically for them, a special event. Um, fresh flowers, it always pulls at your heartstrings that, you know, this is, this could be the last time they're together. And so if you've had personal experiences yourself, um, you know how important it is to make these last moments you know, embedded in their memory forever. I was Denise's nurse that day. In my mind, like, I was gonna be going to the dinner as how excited I was. So what the family asked me to do was try to conserve Denise's energy as much as possible. So I almost got to play security guard. I'm putting signs on the door, like, see nurse before entering, do not enter. They are wonderful. Uh, I met Denise. Uh, it would have been three days before her uh, anniversary but she got married December 3rd and I actually that was my anniversary is December 3rd. Yeah, I treated her like a friend, like a family member. Uh, she just was, you know, what she was dealing with, she was just wonderful. Faced with everything going on, she just maintained a smile and maintained a wonderful spirit. They walked in and they were just like, oh my God, they were just so excited. It was amazing. It actually came out better than, than I thought it would be. It meant the world to me to actually be able to have our anniversary 
just me and her, doing an hour and a half to two hours just by herself. She was so happy, and that and I know she was just waiting to actually experience it. That was one thing she wanted to to experience before she passed away, to have our our anniversary dinner together. Denise left that day at two to go home on hospice, and then um, a friend of hers came up that morning. Her husband wanted me to know that Denise had died Thursday morning. It took you know, five or six different people to pull it off, um, but it's, it was one of those situations where you don't, you don't really think about it. I mean, it's, it's, it's what we do. We were involved in someone's last meal of their, their life, and um, to have that a memory and be part of it, and part of the family's memory, it was a special for everybody. You don't do your job at 100%, you do 150 percent. It's one example of how things carry out every day here. There's so many resources and there's um, so many people that work together and so many de departments that you can just call and lean on. So it's a great company to work for. This is what we do and this is what, this is the part of nursing that um, makes things great. I think it would qualify uh, perfectly in extraordinary care. We had perfect care from from day one to the end.